Hey, what's going on everyone? Edwin Pagan here. Wanted to do a quick little video. I don't even know if this is like a public service announcement or something like that, but I'm chilling on the Instagram or I'm on the gram and I keep seeing these, these for the better lack of my language, damn videos uh, on something called spyall.net, right? It's apparently it's an application or a website that will let you somehow access someone's phone and view all their Instagram, Snapchat, DMs, text messages, etc. Somehow someone beat the NSA to this technology. Now, I see this on a lot of popular accounts that I follow in particular, and I'll have those videos or the links to those below. Actually, no, I'm going to put any links for these guys below. But in essence, I kind of wanted to showcase how real this actually really is. So I have it open right now, which is spyall.net, um, but they're under a lot of different names. Um, spyeverything.com is another one. I'm sure they have different domains. Um, I, after doing some 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 research into the domain, it's it's actually being backed up by uh, Cloudflare as well. So they do have some security in the back end. Um, so, but in essence, when you go to this website, it tells you, hey, type in the phone number of this person. Now, at first glance, um, you see that there's a little comment section below. People are telling you, hey, man, this freaking worked. You know what I'm saying? I can't believe I caught my girl cheating. Um, and the reason, again, I, I'm posting this video is because I see a lot of messages from people on, on the comments asking me to hack into something for them. And I feel like you guys would be lured into this. So let's check this out real quick and see how it actually works. So I'm going to put a bogus number in real quick. Uh, 456-780. Well, you know what? Let's just do this number. We hit next. Now, this is a video that's playing right now in the background, right? This is kind of an animation to give you the idea that it's actually working. Now, it's apparently, it's downloading all the data off the person's phone. Um, and see what it does now. Man, there must be a lot of data associated to that phone number. All right, apparently the data's ready. Now, what do I want to look at? The person's messages or the photos? Let's take a look at the photos. Oh, wait a minute. I think it's actually going to work. What is this madness? Okay, tap to continue. Oh, okay, so we have to download something. So let's verify. And as you can see, it's going to redirect us to an app, to a website. Now we have to download an app. Let's go ahead and download the app. Now, guys, I am running this on a virtual machine, so don't worry about my machine. It's not going to get infected with anything. But I want to see how far this thing will go. So offer has expired. And let's see what else it gives us. Well, that seems about it. Now, this is basically, guys, and when you really take a look at this, all this is really doing is it's trying to get you to download an app onto your phone in that way the author or whoever gets a kickback from them. Um, I did some more in-depth research into the coding, everything on the website. And from what it looks like, it's just associated to some type of uh, referral service slash uh, mobile app advertising. And they're just trying to lure your, you know, lure you to download apps. But the real, the real scary part about this or the more annoying part about this is that if you're typing your actual phone number into this, take it from someone who once gave his number to a uh, loan referral service, uh, your number is going to be shared with multiple, multiple, multiple people. Um, or if the number you type in, it's going to be shared with multiple, multiple people. Now, that being said, um, there is no app out there. And I repeat, there is no app out there that's going to let you magically access all the data on someone's phone. It just does not work like that, all right? If it did, uh, I think every celebrity out there would have their phone hacked as we speak. It doesn't exist, guys. Not only does it not exist, it's illegal. It's illegal. Don't do it, all right? You can get a lot of trouble for accessing someone's information without their consent, without their permission. Hackers have gotten one to, f two, to three to four to five years in prison. It's not worth it, guys. So that being said, I just wanted to post this video to kind of highlight uh, this app that I keep seeing all over the Internet. Uh, leave your questions and comments below, guys. Uh, I have some more content coming up as well. But until next time, stay safe, be ethical, take care. Peace.